Hans Wormhat, this will be a pretty quick video because I think it's pretty self-explanatory. Pompeii is a hoax. These aren't bodies. These are just like stupid plaster casts. It's art projects, bad art projects. Uh, volcanoes aren't real. Once you wake up to flat earth, you know that there's no molten core of this place. There's no, vol volcanoes are BS. Go watch my videos on volcanoes. It's pretty self-explanatory. You can see people just stepping on top of lava with just shoes on. Lava's not hot. Um, and, uh, yeah, I mean, even the whole story of Pompeii, they just want you scared that a volcano could blow up at any time. And, you know, God didn't make this place out to kill us all the time. That's what these tranny creatures want you to think. That's a big part of what I've been uncovering. All these spooky animals with all the poisons, and they, they're not real. Uh, you know, great white sharks aren't real. Uh, I highly doubt, like, super deadly poisonous things. Um, Maybe there's a few poisonous snakes, like the asp or something. It's in the Bible, but um, I don't know. I'm, I'm pretty skeptical of the poison level of a lot of things. And it's supernatural disasters. I've done videos on, on tornadoes. I don't think they're real. Uh, I mean, there are big storms, but I think that nowadays they're all man-made, right? There's some good channels out there. So uh, volcanoes aren't real anything that's spooky even earthquakes god is who makes earthquakes um and these trannies they make fake earthquake hoaxes psyops just while they're digging underground or whatever uh and but they always want you just scared of things and so volcanoes is just another spooky thing but look at these this is so ludicrous they're just plastered um art projects look you can even see it's like they don't even try to hide it like what is that that just looks like a that looks like a piece of metal, like they have a, a mesh metal frame of a body, and then they plastered it. Oh, that's not a human body that's somehow been calcified or something. It's just obvious. I feel like it's obvious when you know that it's fake. People just believe because they don't think that people would make, make it up, but it's so clearly just an art project. A bad one. Just bad sculptures. Not even good. They just sell you the emotion. They sell you a story. They're selling you a story. The proportions don't even look human. The feet, like, are just big, I don't know, paddles. It doesn't look, none of the proportions look right. They don't even look like human proportions. So, yeah, I've actually been to Pompeii myself. Um, that's not a real person, right? That's ridiculous. If... <laughs> Where's all the other stuff that's all, you know, whatever they claim the processes that did this. But I just think it's so ludicrous that you would even believe that this is a human, like, inside of that. And what, the, the proportions are so wrong. It's a sculpture. I mean, I think it's just clearly a sculpture. Here they got, like, a twisted up dog. I mean, does that look right? These paws, do those look right? It's just a sculpture. The realism isn't even good. So they're just selling you emotion. Like how uh, these have lines in the fingers, but you can just tell it's a bad sculpture job. This one, the clothes got calcified or whatever is supposed to be happening here. Uh, I don't know. I don't buy it. Not for half a second. Uh, this one's like a mitten, but then this one has fingers, I guess. And uh, some of them are hilarious. They have like teeth sticking into them. Um, yeah, it's just a bunch of bad It's art projects. Not even good ones. How, how could you possibly get frozen in time like that? It's just, it's ridiculous. And I think they're trying to be blasphemous too because the Bible mentions uh, people being turned to pillars of salt, um, right? Who was it that they were escaping Sodom and Gomorrah and God told them to not look back, but she looked back anyways and was turned into a, a pillar of, of salt. I don't know, to me, these are just obviously sculptures and not even good ones. There's definitely not a human body inside of this. I think the ones with the teeth look especially stupid. <laughs> just not real. It's just a plaster sculpture where somebody came in and pressed some teeth into it. This one looks real bad. The skulls don't look right. Like, ugh, it's just really obvious when you know that these people are liar deceivers trying to spook you. It's very clear. Pompeii is a hoax. Uh, like I said, I've been to Pompeii. And the guide, so there was a guide that was walking us around. Do you know what the guide kept telling us over and over and over and over again? The guide kept saying, Pompeii is a modern city. He kept saying that over and over. It's probably a tranny, too.
it really got to the point where it was obnoxious. Our guide, and again, I didn't know about Transvestigation back then, but our guide would not shut up saying that Pompeii is a modern city. He kept telling us over and over and over again. It's because this prob this city was probably hoaxed out. Like, when, when did they claim that they dug out these things? Look at the duping delight. This person has duping delight on their face because it's fake. Look at it. You don't mine these things out with a pickaxe like that? What? <laughs> so I thought this image was hilarious with a pickaxe. You got a bunch of T-Rex trannies. That's a curved back. Uh, hoax. Toxery. The whole world's a stage. Pompeii's a hoax. Uh, I even went to Vesuvius. The You can just tell that this is just a stupid sculpture. Um, who knows when these, these were painted? You know, who knows? Probably not that long ago. And uh, I went to the... I'll, I'll show you what the volcano looks like. Look, you can tell this isn't a real human. It's just a bad sculpture. Um, I'll show you what the volcano looks like. Do you know what the volcano looked like to me? It looked like, yeah, mining trailings. It just looked like a giant uh, pile of sand. Like, you, you can hike up it, and it's just a giant pile of dirt or sand or whatever, and uh, they just pump out some steam. It was ridiculous. When I got to the top, I was like, are you kidding me? It's so obviously a fake. So, yeah, I've actually been here. People can't... <laughs> People in the comments... <laughs> are always like, well, why don't you go to Hawaii and check out the volcano? Okay, I've actually been to Pompeii myself, and I I know it's fake. Because even when I was there, I, it didn't sit right with me. So here's like an aerial picture of Vesuvius. Yeah, look at it. It's seriously just a pile of dirt. Um, here you go. This is the only place where you'll see Vesuvius exploding in just some sort of stupid image like this. It's ridiculous. This is what it looks like up at the top. I can confirm. I've been there. And... Uh, so this is it. It looks like nothing. It's just a pile of dirt that's caved in like this. This is what they call volcanoes. And uh, I, I don't see it in this image, but there were like one or two little places where they just had some steam coming out. Whatever, they probably just have a stupid little steam generator that just makes a little bit of steam come out. I don't even see it in this image, but um, climbing up Mount Vesuvius is probably one of the most stupid things that you'll ever do. It's just a giant uh, waste of time. You're climbing up like a mining trailing or, or something like that. Just a pile of dirt. Definitely not a volcano. Oh, volcanoes don't exist. So uh, once you learn to flat uh, about flat earth, you should wake up to volcanoes are fake. Uh, there's no molten core of the earth. There just isn't. And uh, volcanoes are fake. Then, of course, Pompeii is fake. 